Hello, hello guys. Last time in the previous video we have seen the we have seen how we can create survey form using Microsoft Forms and today I wanna show you how we can create a quiz using Microsoft Microsoft Forms. We open a browser as usual and we type three w's office dot com to access Microsoft Office three six five. Once it is opened, yeah, we just come and click here on the nine dot. Yeah, to access our apps. You see our apps here. We have seen. Uh, how we can use OneDrive, how we can use Outlook, how we can use forms in creating in creating survey, a survey form. And now we are going to see how we can create a quiz once you are a teacher, once you are a lecturer using uh, this form. Just a click on Microsoft Forms or Forms to see all forms you have created and to see how you can get a new form by creating by just clicking on a new quiz. Yeah, very solid for the network. It was a network problem, but it's okay. Yeah, as we did last time, the previous video, to create a new video, we just have to click on, just have to click on new quiz. And these are the create the forms. Yeah, these are all different forms that have been created. But to create a new one, we just need to click on new quiz. You click on new quiz to create a new form of quiz. And our form now is an title and we just want to to create a title for our quiz. Let's for example say for example chemistry uh, quiz for S5 students. F, uh, S5 uh, PCB for example. And in the description, you can give instruction for your quiz. You can say, for example, attempt, attempt or all questions. But if there is other, other more instructions, you can just specify them. In the title, you can just add a picture. A picture of, for example, can can just type in Bing chemistry, chemistry, and search to see if you can get some online photos. You see, here yeah, there is online yeah, pictures related to chemistry. We just pick one. Let me pick this one and click on add.
and the photo will be just press it here in the rift the rift part of the title and this is the instructions bureau you see the picture now to start your quiz you just have to click on add question on add question on add new you click on add new then you start your question but once it is a quiz we'll be starting with identification here we can use choice we can use text we can use a rating date and so on but let us use uh, text because they need to type their the identification text your names names or you can say full name your full name your full name and you just have to make it required Your full name, full name, and make it required because every student must uh, show the name. It is required, and you just click on required to not allow student to jump the question. Yeah, this question of. Uh, yeah, this identification of full name cannot be jumped and it is required. Yeah, to show that the, uh, the question on something you are asked to you are asked to, to state, it is shown by this lady star. Yeah, let's add the other uh, the second. Uh, the second question let's click on add apart from full name we can just ask them to specify the cross the cross crosses it is also required and they can just specify their number Let's ask them the number, the number in the cross. Maybe a student can be number one, can be number two. Yeah, here was, uh, was the cross. And question number three, let it be number. All student number. Student number. Once you are prompted with the message like this one, you just can refresh your page. Refresh the page and it comes to, to normal. You can even ask them gender. Gender is by choice. You make it choice. Make it choice. Gender. And the option here you add male and female. Male and female. And from Question number five, you can start adding questions. You can start adding questions. And let me just uh, copy them somewhere. And you have seen that from number one to number four, it's like it's an identification. And there is no need to add marks. You see in the place where we, we put marks, 
we didn't type anything to mean this is not a question it's an identification and there is no marks required yeah but for the question that they need to answer you will ask them to to give the right question and you also put the marks you put the marks to to evaluate them because at the end of the the test after responding you met you immediately triggered the, the marks in the in your account in us in excel sheet we'll see it yeah let's see choice let's use a multiple choice and you see here you can even upload the picture and put options down if it is a, a picture of something like a, if it is a part of the tree you can just upload the picture of a tree here and ask the questions here down but if there is something that you can type you type them the question let me for example copy here one question the esters are let me paste here and the esters are now i'm going to add options so that they will choose the best the best answer Uh, more reactive uh, more reactive than acid chloride mm -hmm. this is the first option and let's make it a a b Equal reactivity, you just copy and let's make it be well, let's make it be and you have to add options. You click on add options if there are they are less reactive. They are really active. You copy the option. This is C. And once it is a quiz, you just select the, the correct answer. It's up. It's up. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's up to the teacher to to mark the real answer, the correct answer. But the correct answer just to use that you chose, the respondent will not see the right one because it will be hidden. And let, for example, say the right answer. You see here there is, yeah, there is, there is a tick. You just click on the tick to match, uh, to mention that the answer is correct. If, for example, take this, you see here this one is a correct answer. And as we have seen for the respondent, the view of respondent, you click on the preview. Let's preview to see how the, the form will be looking like once the respondent opened, opened this form. Let's see how to look like. You see, this is how the form will look like. And uh, you see the answer that I've taken, it, it is in the system, but the respondent will not we, uh, will not be able to see that the answer has been taken as a correct, correct answer. I can add another question. Let's also use multiple choice and allow me to copy it here. Let's copy and paste. 
Yeah, secondary amines react with acid chloride to give. Uh, yeah, let's specify options to give amines. Yeah, let's say it A. The second option, carboxylic acids. Maybe yeah, paste carboxylic acid. Let's say it's B. And let's have the another option. Amide and let's call it C. Get to number C and let's add another option. If it is, let me check. Yeah, it is. You click on the add option to add options and let's call this. D. Sub question, sub question number D. It is another it is a choice. And as usual, you take the right, you take the right answer. You take the right answer. Let's say it is C. But the respondent, as we have seen for the previous question, you will not see that this answer has been uh, taken as a correct answer. You can add more questions and after this you have to add marks for your question let's say question number five it's a five five point and the question number six uh, six let's click to add marks also five you see media three once you put the point there media three your question will show the marks and in above there they will you will see the total the total marks you see on the title you just see that we now have ten and I have ten marks you can add more questions depending on the uh, the kind of uh, quiz you want to give to them. And after setting this, you can add uh, you can add a theme. We have seen it yesterday. Yeah, so it yesterday theme, and uh, you can choose any theme. For example, this one. You see. To change the media tree and uh, you can see how to look like on preview yeah this is how your form will look like and this one is a computer view it is a computer view and you have to see also a mobile view for those who will be using phones yeah this is how mobile view will be looking like and let's get back to get back to the questionnaire you just click here back and apart from theme we can see in the setting in the setting where we can set uh, the, uh, the rules for the respondent we, we click on the slid dots and uh, you come to the setting and you will choose who will respond first who can fill out this form anyone can respond it means anyone with the link will uh, will be able to respond to the quiz you tick here once you tick here only people in my organization can respond 
it will require every respondent to have a Microsoft account for him to be able to respond. Or you can specify people by typing the email, the macro Microsoft emails here, and you will get an email notification. Yeah, accept responses. You have to accept them once you uh, you allow the respondent to start the quiz. Once you untick here, it means they will not be able to op to to open the link. They open the link, but the link will just say that uh, this form is no longer or did not start to re uh, accepting responses. And once you want them to start, you just accept responses. You can state uh, the starting date and the ending date, even the hour. You see, this is the, the, the date. And you just see your time. You can even set the time so that anyone who will come late will not be able to, to do the quiz because it will expire at any at, at any time you stated. You can tick here and yeah, this is the starting and this is the ending time. Once you set the ending ending date and time, the year date and time, the one who will come after the ending date and time will not be able to answer to the question. And here you can customize a thank you message. You can say your response was submitted. And down here you can add thank you. Yeah, thank you. And here response list allow list of responses after submission. Once you tick here, yeah, this one who is going to respond, you will immediately see the marks in the screen of the phone or the computer you will be using. After setting this, you now go to share. To generate the link, and this link is very is very long. And to shorten this link, you come and tick here to shorten this link to make it short. Tick and wait to copy the link. Once it is done, you will see it, and you copy the link at any social media or you can use email you can use whatsapp you can use you can even type it somewhere and uh, ask the respondent to type it in the browser and click enter to access this quiz yeah you can share this link at anywhere anywhere you want you can even ask the respondent to type it it is now very short they it is very short to type and you click on copy to copy it anyway for example you can give it to you can share it on whatsapp you open whatsapp and you share this link yeah let's share it on whatsapp V and now shared and let's see how it looks like after responding yeah, after responding we come to response and this our form is active you see it is active but we have zero responses yeah, let me use another device to type, for example, your full name, class is 5, your student number 12, gender, male. I'm using another device to see how it will look like after responding. The first, the first two question, I'll read the first two question. The, this is 5, but... The above five is uh, before five. It is uh, identification. This question has five points, five marks. 
and the form that I'm viewing it is it is like this mm -hmm. the esters are let me say less reactive and less uh, the secondary amine yeah this is like simple let me choose and now submit you have submitted and after submitting let me just back to the responses you see now there is one response a one response from a student name x class is five and uh, student number 12 and this is male and the first question you see it is okay and the last question more respondent can respond to this average score it is 10 it means the student has maximized maximized the quiz and now you open them in excel once you come to download this you open it to excel and remember once you you just cross and uh, wait to the respondent to answer to the form to find this form you will also pass uh, to the nine dot click on the forms and you will find this form in the created forms it will be the start the form the the first form because it is very it is new it is the newest one and you click open excel to see how it will be looking like let's see you open excel to download the the sheet it is now going to yeah, the download has been finished finished you see it here i can now access it uh, show in folder it is now here let me open it to see how the result after uh, the respondent has responded you see you can immediately generate the marks of student without spending in uh, two hours three hours marking you see yeah this is start time the student started this time compression and this for and this excel sheet is editable you can edit it i can just clean if i don't want this this i can clean but uh, here the name is x the total point is here I see the name uh, yeah can edit this form yeah can just edit by deleting the those one I want I, I no longer want I can uh, yeah you can edit as you you do always in Excel you can delete and keep what you need and then need the one you just to them you see the total marks for the quiz is 10 and the full name is this one and uh, the class it is s5 student number 12 you just delete what you don't want gender yeah this is how we get it the marks for the first question and the answer for the first question maybe in your excel in your excel you don't need to see the answer he the respondent has provided you can even delete them and you keep what you, you you maybe need maybe you need max you need full name you need class and the student number and and gender you delete the remaining yeah so this is how we generate the max and this is how we see the downloaded the downloaded form after responding yeah hello
uh, we are here to to see the the statistics you can see it here you can even download the statistics to see more details for this respondent here on one student has responded but at end time once you give to student quiz you will see maybe 50 or response uh, responses you will see 100 responses depending on the participant yeah so keep enjoying my videos and uh, let me yeah say goodbye and uh, don't forget to subscribe